In this training, we are going to go over how to create an email campaign and connect it to a funnel so that when a lead comes in through your funnel and enters their information, it gets automatically connected to an email campaign and they get sent an email, basically, or a series of emails. So the first thing we're going to do is come up and hover over email and click on campaigns. You'll notice I already have a campaign set here. It has two emails within it, but we're going to create a new one, which I am just going to call test. And you can name it whatever you want. So like you saw my other one behind there is opt in to the 15 high converting lead magnets. Um, and then in description, you can fill something out, but you don't have to. It just depends on if it's helpful or, for you or not. So I'm going to go over here. So now you can see that we have a link here. We can click in and we can add emails. But first, I'm going to show you you have options over here. You can duplicate this. So if you have a campaign that you want to make minor edits to, maybe you have a different product you're promoting, but the content is um, uh, all makes sense with it. You just need to change some links. Duplicating your campaign can take uh, a lot of time out of the equation. You can share it. This will create a link. So you can share it to someone else who um, might want to use the framework for your campaign as their own. You can also um, click on settings, which will just allow you to change the name and description of the campaign. And then finally, you can remove it, which is deleting it. So I'm going to click on this to go in and we're going to make our first email. As you can see, it says, oops, looks like this list is empty. This is what you'll see on the previous page if you have never set up a campaign before. Um, so we're going to set up our first email by hitting create. Now, I'm just going to put test for subject line. Actually, you know what? I forgot. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the 90 day digital product launch formula. We're going to go to the page that says building your email list. Now I have a placeholder here because this is the video I'm making right now, but this page will look pretty much like this. When you get to it, you're going to click on this link here that says, get your bonus free me email swipe. And by clicking on that, you get taken to a Google doc. And this has the information that you need to put in for your uh, initial freebie delivery. Now, you don't have to use this. This is here as a resource for you if you want to. I suggest customizing it quite a bit to fit your, to oops, to fit your tone of voice and uh, just the general language and feel of your brand. But for now, we're going to use this so I can show you how to get it in there. So I'm going to take the subject and I'm going to bring it back here and uh, we're going to change the name I will just go to Abby and if you are the face of your brand and people are familiar with you putting your name in is going to help people um, recognize who the email is from and click on it when it comes to their inbox if they are more familiar with your brand name put your brand name there instead and then you're going to go over and instead of this area that says name of freebie we're going to remove that I'm going to put test here but put the name of your freebie and then make sure that the sender name looks good and that your professional email is populating here correctly. And then I'm going to tell you to select um, visual editor. I like the visual editor. It just has a little extra um, options in it, but it can be a little complicated. If you like really simple and you just want a plain text editor, go to classic editor. But we'll go into visual editor and I'm going to hit save. And let's see what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Um, try that again. There we go. Sorry about that. <coughs> I'm going to refresh this so that we can see the campaign step. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so now we're going to click in on it. You'll notice over here that this status is gray, and that means that it is not active currently, and uh, we will set it to active when we're ready to. But the first thing we're going to do is click in here. You can see that the subject is populating. Um, your sender email sh address should be populated correctly and your sender name. Um, the first thing we're going to do is click into the email. And we're just going to get a rid of a bunch of this stuff because we don't need it. Bear with me. Okay, 
so oops and I'm actually going to get rid of this up here too I think I can yeah So basically, the initial layout is kind of what they recommend if you have a longer form uh, email you want to write. Okay, so here we have the basic email. It just has some lorem ipsum placed in it. And we're going to go back to the freebie, and we're going to copy this body text. Go back, highlight all of it, and then paste in place. Now, this first name is, um, I will show you this once we save and exit but this first name is going to auto-populate your contact's first name that they entered when they got uh, when they signed up for your freebie. So here we're going to go, and I'm just going to put test here, but put the name of your freebie in a way that makes sense. Um, and, you know, change up the language as you see fit. Um, and then uh, this these questions here are just kind of to uh, let people know that you want to hear from them and then you'll put your name in, whatever it is. Uh, the one additional thing that you're going to want to do is, oh, before I get there. So if you want to change the font style, so this defaults to like, I think, times or something like that. Um, if you want to change it to anything else, you go over here to the font and uh, select what you want it to be. I like Verdana. I like the 16 pixel size. This is the size up here. Can make it larger. Oops, I have to highlight it to do that. Make it larger, make it smaller, whatever you want to do. And uh, you can highlight it, change the color, uh, make it bold, italic, underline, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to switch it back to black. Um, so that's how you edit the text. You can also add padding to the top. The bottom, the right, the left. So uh, you'll see here, like it moves over. And that just is what you're comfortable at for um, the amount of space you want between this edge here and where the text starts. Okay, so this is what I want you to add. You're going to add a horizontal line. And then under that, and actually I'm going to add some padding to the left and right just because I like it to be a little bit inside on either side, just so it doesn't look like it's completely cutting it off. I'm going to see a tool. Um, you can change the horizontal line color here if you want to, make it a brand color, whatever you want to do. And then we're going to drag a text box over and put it below that. And this is where you are going to put um, your um, address, whatever you want your business address to be. So if you're running a sole proprietorship, it could be your home address. It could be a PO box that you got. Um, if you have an LLC, it would be whatever your office space is or where your registered agent is located. And so I'm just going to put um, I don't know if any of this is actually correct. I just uh, made that up in my head. And uh, it is a legal requirement that you have this physical contact information at the bottom of every email. So what you're going to do is just make it small. Um, and uh, then you are uh, abiding the legal requirements that you need to. The next thing that we need to do is save changes and we're going to hop out of here and we are going to add your freebie attachment. So over here, you will see this add an attachment. You'll click on that. You'll choose your file and you will add it and then your freebie will be attached to your email. As you can see down here, this is what I was talking about. This first name is, oops. 
this first name is going to auto populate your contact's first name. These are the other options you have. You can do last name, email address, country, city, postcode, any of this info you can put in there if you want to. Usually you're just going to use first name though. That's pretty much all you need. Um, down below here, you'll see that this unsubscribe button is here. This is also a legal requirement that is set in your um, uh, settings, your mailing settings, um, but you need to have that. You can also choose whether or not you want your system IO affiliate link there. I recommend leaving it simply because if someone clicks on it and gets system IO and gets a paid plan, you will make money. Um, okay, so I'm going to hit save and publish. And I'm going to choose, here's where I choose how long after they put their information in, I want it to send. I'm going to choose one minute. And since we don't have any other emails, we're going to not, it's just going to send uh, once it's triggered. Uh, you can set what time you want the email to be sent or the days of the week when this email should be sent, all of that stuff. Um, but usually just set the delay and what you want it sent after if it's not the first email and hit publish and you are good to go. Okay, so now you can see that we've published it and it has um, the green status, which means it is active and can be connected and used. So at this point, what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna go to automations and we are going to go to rules. With a free system I account, you are allowed one automation. As you can see, I already have one set up, but I have a paid account, so I'm allowed to set up another one and show you. So this would just be say that, oops, it looks like there's nothing here thing, but here we're gonna go up to create. And your trigger is going to be funnel step form subscribed. So you hit the plus, you choose funnel step form subscribed, you choose your funnel, which I am going to use, in this case, I'm gonna use the nine day swipe Choose the funnel step page, which is the opt-in page. And then you're gonna choose your action, which is subscribe to campaign. When you subscribe to a campaign, um, this means it's gonna automatically send, uh, and we're gonna put it to my test campaign, and there we go. So this means when somebody subscribes to my test, when somebody subscribes, subscribes through my funnel to my opt-in, they enter their info, they hit, uh, the the uh, submit button, they're then going to be added to this campaign, the test campaign that I just created, and automatically sent the email that we just created. So then you're going to save rule, and that's where you want to leave it. Um, that is how you add it to your campaign. If you have more than one funnel and you need more than one automation, you are going to need to get a paid plan, but this will serve you for your freebie opt-in in the meantime. If you have any questions, leave them below this video or feel free to put them in the group and we will answer them. Thank you so much and have a great day.